Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Detach Garage. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Sean and this channel is all about helping you guys plan, design, build, and upgrade your garage. In today's episode, we're in my backyard. We're gonna check out the future location of my garage build. We're also gonna take you around to some specific locations in the backyard and talk through some decisions we have to make. We'll stake out the perimeter of the proposed garage with some of these reflectors, and then we'll compare it to my SketchUp drawing. Stay tuned. All right, guys, first thing I will do is walk through the backyard with you and take a look at some of the stuff we are going to have to get rid of. So this planter area right here is going to have to go, as well as the deck up there as well. So some decisions we have to make here are the air conditioner, which you can probably hear running right now. We've also got uh, a hose bib here and the outlet to the dryer right there. So um, this area is going to be a little bit difficult for the garage build because we're gonna attach the garage from this roof to the future garage location over here. So all of this is gonna get ripped out. This section is gonna get ripped out here. And then th this tree section and um, planter area is also gonna get ripped out and taken down as well. So lots of changes that are going to have to come through to put this garage where we want it but overall it's going to be quite awesome when we get done so lots of changes are going to happen here guys this whole deck is going to come out i'm not sure what we're going to do about this air conditioner if we're going to leave it where it is you can see the electrical uh, coming in right here and that electrical actually runs down along here and there is a telephone pole back here that you can't see. So we are going to have to do something. Um, not sure if you can see it, but there's a telephone pole right there. So we're gonna have to do something with, uh, with the current patio, which isn't in very good shape. Uh, it's not that big of a deal that that deck has to come out, but overall, um, there's going to be a lot of concrete in this area over here to do the dedicated outside wash bay. Then we're also going to have the um, family area, covered porch area over here. And then the garage is actually going to be kind of in this section. So what I'm going to do now, I'll put you guys down on the tripod and then we can go, I'm going to put the reflectors in the ground so we can kind of take a little bit more detailed walkthrough of where this garage is going to go. All right, guys, so I've got my tape measure right here. I've got my reflectors. I'm gonna come off of the house and try and measure where the first corner location of the garage is gonna be. And uh, we can, then we can start to kind of visualize where this garage is gonna go. So I'm gonna get to laying out the tape measure and then putting these reflectors in the ground so we can visualize better of where my garage is gonna go. All right, guys, so we are 20 feet off of the house currently right now, and that's about where I want the corner to be. But I do want it to be in line here with this roof line and not kind of offset where I have the tape measure laying right now. So I'm gonna put a, uh, a reflector in the ground and then we will take a look at what that looks like and that will be the first corner we go through. Okay guys, so I have the first reflector in the ground. This is the corner of where the garage is going to go. And then this area here is basically gonna be that dedicated wash bay. Uh, so we'll have a piece of roof, 12 foot wide or more, coming across from here. And then we'll rip this deck out and rip this planter area out. And this is all gonna be nice concrete and hopefully we'll be able to put a drain in that area. Um, but that is where the dedicated wash bay is gonna go or the walkway from this door 
over to the garage. Let's get going on those next reflectors. All right, guys, so I have two reflectors in the ground and they are both 20 feet off the side of the house. This first one is kind of right in line with the roof line up here. And this other one over here is right in line with this corner of the garage. So by backing up, this entire area will be the wash bay area. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm not sure how, what the distance is in between these two reflectors, but I will measure that and I'll crawl in here if I have to. Um, but right now I'm gonna measure basically 15 feet from this one um, towards this one. And then we're gonna put a stake in the ground or a reflector in the ground to mark where that patio area is going to stop. And then we'll, we'll put another uh, reflector on the far corner to see where that edge of the garage is going to be. All right, guys, so we have the reflectors up currently. This right here is the very corner of the garage. The reflector in the middle of that planter area right there, that is the end of the garage. And then this far reflector over here, that is the end of the covered patio. So there's 32 feet in between these two reflectors here. So if I back up onto the driveway here, Essentially, uh, we'll have the lift bay here, the other bay here, and then a man door here to walk into the garage. So, um, and then this area here will be where the wash bay is, so we can pull a car right in there. And then in between this one and this one will be the covered patio area going out that way. So, a uh, little overgrown currently, but um, that is all gonna have to get land cleared as well as this tree right here will have to get land cleared or cut down and cleared and taken the roots out as well. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go from this one back and measure that out. We're gonna go 30 feet deep and then we'll start working our way across this way so we can see where those other reflectors are. All right, guys, so here's what we got. We have the front corner. We have from here to here is the patio area. And then from this post to that reflector out there is 32 feet, and that's the area of the garage. We've got 15 feet between this post here and this one here, and then another 15 feet between these two. So 30 feet deep, 15 plus 32, and then that's the very corner of that garage over there. So this area here will be the garage area. So again, large two stall, 32 by 30 with room for a lift over here. And then we will have room for stairs going up one way or the other over here. 
I'm gonna throw another reflector in the ground out here to mark the corner, and then we'll take you through another walk. Alright guys, so I went inside and started editing that video and realized I had no sound on a portion on the last portion of the video. So I'm gonna take you through a walkthrough with my phone and we're gonna walk through uh, the stakes and what they mean and where they're at and all that good stuff. So the very corner of my garage is right here. This is 15 feet from here to this one, and then from this one another 15 feet to the front corner of the garage. Then we have this one to the center of that planter area. That is 32 feet. That's the distance of the basically garage area here. And then this reflector way in the back back there. That is the front corner of the porch area. So um, this is the entire layout of the garage. As you can see, this corner goes if you follow the back wall of the garage, we are going to have to clear a lot of this, or basically all of this brush. The plan is to clear all of this brush out and then uh, put lawn back in and grass back in when uh, we get the garage finished and we're building this back up. So you also can see that this um, area is going to have to come out here and the deck is going to have to come out as well. We'll have the uh, roof line that connects this garage, this current garage, to the new garage and this line runs straight across all the way over there the dedicated wash bay will be here we will have the lift area here the second bay and then the porch and patio area over there so let's go over here we'll take you through a few other things that i'm thinking about that we're going to have to address in this garage build so one of the things I'm definitely thinking about in this garage build is the overall grade. And this could be plus or minus a couple thousand dollars for you if you don't have the right grade. So it is fairly level from my current driveway all the way across here and into where the garage is gonna be built. Again, we are gonna do a normal footing style garage where we're gonna go down below the frost line to put footings in and then we'll bring it up and then we will do a layer of foam and then our uh, slab will be poured on top of that foam since we are going to do a heated slab we have to put that foam down so we're not heating the earth versus keeping that heat in the garage and heating the garage itself so overall i'm pretty lucky here from a grade standpoint fairly level i won't have to bring in fill at all i don't think i might even have to truck some out depending on how this goes but the thing i wanted to talk to you about is overall the utilities right here so dedicated wash bay right here i'm trying to figure out if is the drain going to go underneath the patio here and then over to the septic system or can i route the drain back out this way um, i'm not sure they're going to let me do that with the water flowing back towards our neighbor's property over there but um, that's one consideration i have to think about the other one is the electrical and the air conditioning unit should i leave those there or can i take this elect or i'm sorry this um or can I take this air conditioning unit and when this garage is built here, put it on the back corner since I eventually want to do some mini splits. Could I oversize that unit and then use that new unit for the entire house and the mini splits in the future? The other thing is gas. So I do want to put a fireplace out uh, in this patio area over here with a gas starter and also a gas grill. So. Uh, my gas line is over here, so we're gonna have to run that underneath here and over this way uh, This patio is going to have to go um, But that's not a huge deal. It's not not in very good shape Anyways, we will replace all of this with likely stamped concrete instead of the pavers that are there now So lots of changes going on lots to do we will uh, 
hopefully this gives you a better representation of where the wash bay is going to go where the garage is going to go we'll go inside and get back into the sketchup view to try and visualize this a little better and hopefully i can take you through the sketchup view that starts right here all right so looking at the garage from this angle over here i had the camera kind of set up right here and then i had the gopro uh, on this little downspout that was over here so that first very first reflector that we put in the ground is this stake right here so this is that dedicated wash bay area right here and then this is the patio area over here that second stake that was in the flower bed is right where this is at right here and then that very corner stake is right here so the garage or the driveway kind of comes to right about here and then this sticks out a few feet over this way so uh, overall 35 or I'm sorry, 32 by um, 15. So 15 feet wide patio and 30 feet deep. Um, so I've thrown in some window ideas here. Um, one up here, this is gonna be a vaulted bay on the end here for the lift bay. So I'd like to get as much light into this area as possible. I've also thrown up some window ideas on the back here. Not sure how many of these we're gonna do, but again, um, we'll have the lift bay on this side of the garage, and then we'll have a loft area over this entire portion here. So I'm planning on putting a loft up above all of this area over here. Now, the thing I could help, the thing I could use your help with is which directions are the stairs gonna go, and should I put the man door right here, so should I put the man door right here or should I put it on the other side? Um, I'm thinking about putting it right here and that way because there's this door right here, I would not be, um, I would be under the cover of the roof line from walking from this door all the way over to here. Uh, so I think that's where we're gonna do it. Again, um, trying to figure out the drain situation coming from the wash bay over this way or we might just have to drain it out, um, out this way down the driveway. So overall, I hope that gives you a better representation of where this is gonna go. I'll probably have to put either one, at least one post, maybe even two more posts in this section here to help support this, especially since this is gonna be a storage area up above here. I wanna hear from you. Should the stairs, which are gonna be kind of located in this section uh, inside this garage area, go up this way or should they go up this way? Uh, so leave me a comment below. Tell me which direction you think the stairs are gonna go. Those stairs are kind of gonna kind of provide a two room breakout. So it'll be an area over here and then an area over the non lofted garage bay. So that's gonna provide a split between those two. So. Let me know down in the comments which direction you think the stairs should go. Should they go towards the back of the garage or should they go towards the front of the garage? Really interested to hear what you guys think. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it helps you visualize my, my garage build. Throw some questions down in the comments below if you have any. Again, thank you for watching Detach Garage.